everybody, this is Crystal with Pure Photoshop Actions and today I'm going to show you how to take um, these two pictures and merge them together to form a picture of a baby up on his, up on her wrists um, and elbows um, like it's a pretty popular pose right now um, without putting the baby in danger or having um, any risks to the baby. Um, in these pictures mom is holding the elbows in one picture really tightly together and then in the next picture takes this hand and moves it to the back of the baby's head um, but could also cup the baby's head could do whatever she wants with the baby's head because this is the head that's going to be in the picture um, to hold the baby up um, and then we'll take the two pictures and open them into Photoshop and also um, at that point um, merge them together so we'll go ahead and um, bring them into Photoshop and first they'll open in bridge I mean raw um, and you'll do your raw edits or if you don't shoot raw then they'll open straight into Photoshop um, let's bring them up my computer's running a little slow tonight so I apologize And these were shot, um, just a little bit of history, natural light um, with a 50 millimeter, 1.4, and I believe they were shot at 1.6. Um, so, and the light was coming from this side over here. So we'll wait for the second picture to come up. And then once it comes up, we'll come back to the first picture and we'll copy it and paste it onto the second picture. Alright, so it is almost done. So let's get ready. Okay, so come over here and select all. Control C. I'll come over here and Control V it to paste it. And I'll decrease the opacity just so I can move it around and I can see where they line up. And that looks pretty much good. So then I'll raise the opacity and create a mask. And since that mask is white, I need to make sure that my brush is black. And then I will just brush back mom's hands. And I got a little too excited with my brush there. Okay. Okay, and that's where mom's hands from the other picture is showing up. And then we'll get rid of this hand right here. And we'll still have a little bit of cloning to do. So um, go ahead and shift control E it. And I will take a snapshot. Um, you can come over to history and click this little camera. And it will take a snapshot right there. Um, so then you can revert back to it if, in case you edit and you don't like what you're doing. Um, you don't have to start over. You can just go to where, to your happy, last happy place, I guess. So let's um, clone these. And you can use the patch tool, you can use heal tool, the heal tool, whatever it is that you are most comfortable with. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. There's a couple of little other fixes. Okay. So that looks good. So shift control E and I'll take a snapshot. Um, so here was the original. There's where it was after we um, merged them and got rid of the hands. And then after just finishing the little clone job. Um, and then she's a little red. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the uh, quick mask tool and select it. Make sure and then select my brush and come and I'm going to brush on where I want to fix. Um, and so I want to fix her little body because she's a little red. Now she's really red, but okay. And then I'll select it again and it'll um, put the little marching ant. But the problem is is that it put them around here, so I need to come up and inverse it. And then you can come into curves and um, go to the blue 
blue channel we want to add a little bit of yellow so we'll pull it down a little bit and come to the RGB channel and raise the curves a little bit so that's before and that's after and it looks good shift control E and now I missed a little spot right here um, so I'll go ahead and create a quick mask right there again and then select inverse and this one I'll do selective color because um, if I was to use curves again it would create a line right there um, and so that pretty much puts it about where I want it to be it's a lot better than that right there and it blends better with her hand Okay, so shift control E to merge, control J, and then control T to free transform the picture um, to, so I can make it more rule of thirds compatible. Enter, shift control E, and that's that. So that is that quick tutorial. So, um, and there will be more. So, thanks for watching.